Kansas head football coach Les Miles is currently on administrative leave as the school takes a closer look into sexual harassment allegations from when Miles was the head coach at LSU. His attorney reacted to the decision, calling it a response to media blowback. Tonight, we're joined by Dr. Elizabeth Taylor. She's an assistant professor at Temple University, and her work centers on diversity and inclusion in sports with a specific focus on sexual harassment. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. So this report from LSU found that Miles texted female students, spent time alone with them, and even kissed one in person. But it did not say Miles had any sexual relationships with the students. He denies the allegations. How would you rate first LSU's handling of this situation and then Kansas handling of the situation? Yeah, I think that LSU took the exact wrong approach that they should have taken with with the handling of this situation. And um, it went as far as the at the time athletic director suggesting that they should let Miles go. Um, and and he states in an email to to those above him at the university that that he thought that they would be able to fire him with with clause. Um, however, those above him um, decided not to not to fire him to actually keep him on the payroll after a recent contract extension that made him the fourth highest paid football coach in the U.S. and essentially buried the report, which detailed his um, alleged sexual advances on on student workers. So. Um, I would say that they did exactly the opposite of, of what they should have done and, and the reprimands that they um, presented to him were essentially a slap on the wrist. They um, put a letter of reprimand in his file. They, um, they ensured that he uh, signed a document that said he understood university policies, but really didn't um, provide any sort of education on, on why his behavior was problematic or um, what he should be doing moving forward. Um, they essentially limited his interaction with female student workers, but didn't do anything to really address the problematic behaviors. Um, I would say now that Kansas um, knows what's happening, I think they took the right approach in putting him on um, leave. However, I think it is problematic that they didn't do their due diligence before hiring him because um, it, it's very likely that, that these issues continue to persist after um, the 2013 investigation and could be happening at Kansas um, without them knowing fully what's, what's going on. All right, so you study sexual harassment within the sports industry. What's happening behind the scenes right now? And again, this is a unique situation because we are dealing with two universities. So what is LSU doing here? And what is Kansas doing as well? So right now, um, LSU is, is essentially trying to, to pick up the pieces of, of everything that's happening. And the consequences of the cultural issues within LSU's athletic department are far reaching. In recent reports, employees within LSU's um, athletic department told investigators they sought mental health treatment as a result of a mental breakdown caused by distress from a lack of support from administration while others noted feeling as though um, the athletic department put public image above everything. So I think really what we're seeing happen within LSU's athletic department is um, finally shedding light on cultural issues that have have been ongoing for, for a number of years that include not only coaches, but also student athletes, which is where this investigation from the phenomenal team at, at USA Today really started. Should should Miles lose his job, Doctor? I think so. I, I think that um, he likely should have lost his job in 2013, and he um, showed that he didn't make the, the necessary changes and, and um, ultimately continued to engage in this problematic behavior. Um, and, and again, like I noted, since he has been at Kansas, we don't know if this is continuing there or um, what type of behavior he's still undergoing. So I think this type of problematic behavior creates a lot of issues within an athletic department um, and, and really shows that these um, big time athletic departments sometimes don't care about the safety and well-being of their student workers, of their student athletes, and they're willing to put a winning record uh, above everything. 
All right, so one final question for you, doctor. In a USA Today report on sexual misconduct complaints at LSU, you were quoted saying the school's handling of those incidents mirrors other cases we've seen at schools. And these other schools have had a real black eye when we're talking about Baylor, Penn State, and Michigan State. Do you lump what's happening, what happened at LSU, in the same vein as you would these other three schools? I do. Yeah, I think the what's happening at LSU is is they're showing a pattern of continually mishandling instances of sexual violence. Um, and the athletic department is is making decisions that put the safety and well-being of other students and student athletes at risk to ensure um, student athletes and their revenue generating sports are able to play and their coaches with winning records are able to continue to coach. Um, even though they're engaging in extremely problematic, um, predatory and, and sexual violence type behavior. I, I, I do want to add one more question, Doc, before you go. Uh, Dr. Taylor, when we're talking about two schools, does this make this a more difficult process to navigate through when we're talking about two schools to, in two different states? Yes, absolutely. So um, essentially, Kansas is trying to play catch up right now. They're trying to figure out all of the different problematic behavior that Miles engaged in while he was at LSU. And the issue with that is LSU really buried it. They brought in an, an outside investigative team in 2013. And, and when USA Today brought in this new um, investigative team just recently, a lot of issues were brought to light about the first investigation and how they were um, misclassifying behaviors and really downplaying Miles' um, predatory behaviors and, and how problematic they are in the creation of this type of a toxic culture and um, how really just problematic overall um, the culture within the athletic department is in terms of following Title IX laws and, and policies and um, really now is putting Kansas in a sticky situation to try to play catch up and figure out what types of behavior he engaged in and, and what the appropriate next steps are for them. Dr. Elizabeth Taylor, thank you for your time. Yes, of course. Thank you.